Hi, this is Tony Rogers with the Products by Design podcast, where product development industry experts share their insight. It's six questions in nine minutes because product development experts are busy and want to get right to the point. So let's get started. Welcome, and please tell us uh, who you are and what you do. Thank you, Tony, for inviting me. My name is Samia Hussein. I am a product solution designer at Technion. It's a furniture design and manufacturing company. Um, yes, that's. Well, thank you for coming on. Tell us what's the best thing about being in product development? I think it's the thrill of not knowing where I will end up. <laughs> when you start the conceptualization process, uh, you know what problems you're dealing with and you have hundreds of them, but um, you don't know how to solve them. And in the middle of the process, you have hundreds of ways to solve them, but you end up picking just one solution and that's thrilling. It, it, is, it is the fun of problem solving uh, in product development, I agree. So I, I hear in the industry companies, they're always looking to accelerate product development, increase innovation, and or improve the handoff from design to manufacturing. Tell me your thoughts. My thought is it's not new. Um, human civilization has always been adapting to new technologies and we are creating uh, new tools all the time. Um, in our company, we upgrade our product lines uh, three to four times a year based on our user needs. Okay. So two things are very important to me, how end user uses the product and how the product was made. Very good. Tell me what other industry experts like yourself should be on the Products by Design podcast. I think sustainability experts and end users. Sustainability, sustainability experts is a great topic. I will try to do something on that. And uh, of course, with the, with the furniture world, I think we're all, we're all a little bit of end users. So uh, interested in that as well. We'll see what we can do. What insights would you like to share with other product manufacturers? To me, product development is really about the end users, not to create some demand that wasn't there before, mm -hmm. but to create a solution that was, was not there before. The process of product development is corrupted when we do it to meet sales targets. It creates unnecessary waste in this world. 16% yep. of the world population is creates creating 683 million tons of waste. Wow. So that's, to me, that's a very important topic. Um, I think as designers, as manufacturers, we always have to focus on the process of um, product development that we create what we need and we don't create waste. Mm -hmm. That would be a great thing. Too much waste in the world, I agree. So tell me, what's the craziest thing you've seen in product development? Um, I am from Bangladesh and um, that country is, um, it's, it's based on actually frugal in innovation, jugad innovation is very much valued here. And the craziest thing I would say I have um, seen is a very lo low cost uh, prosthetic hand uh, it's created by EME Signals. It was created in one of the universities of Bangladesh, uh, Dhaka University, very local professor, uh, Rabbani. It was made of a mannequin hand. Uh, he created this prosthetic hand for a girl who was playing around a slum and a bomb blasted and her hand, uh, she lost her hand, uh, but Professor Rabbani designed a, designed a prosthetic. It's, it's very, you know, these kind of technologies are very costly around there. Mm -hmm. So Professor Rabbani created a very low cost affordable prosthetic hand, which um, um, could be controlled by EME signals. It, it was from mannequin hands and the, and the girl can write now, she can oh, do wow. domestic chores and stuff. Uh, that's, so that's the, yeah, that's the craziest thing I have seen. That's yeah, a crazy, wonderful thing. So that, that, exactly. I like hearing that story, very good. So, well, I think we're out of time. This is Tony Rogers with the Products by Design podcast, where product development industry experts share their insight. It's six questions in nine minutes because product development experts are busy and want to get right to the point. 
For more insights and ideas, please go to creativemechanisms.com.